Merry Christmas, the internet. Today is December 25th. It is Christmas Day, but I'm actually spending the day alone. I've been at family Christmas for the past two days. On Saturday, it was my family Christmas with my mom and my aunts and uncles and stuff. And then yesterday, it was my in-laws Christmas. And by that, I mean my sister's husband, Malcolm, and my best friend, Michael, are siblings. And so I'm invited to their holiday parties every year and I always go. So I've been like semi in, you know, informally adopted by this family too. So I went to two big all day long family Christmases and now it is actually Christmas day and I am very happy to just be alone today and work on my own little projects and, uh, and enjoy some of the gifts that I got. Look at this, look at this color nail polish. It already chipped right there, but isn't that a nice color? And this is my new sweater. Guys, I spent $300 on sweaters while Christmas shopping. So yeah, let's start off by showing you what I got for Christmas. First, my mom gave me this and it is a robot bird for my cat Binks. And it has a battery and it turns on like this. You can give me presents for my cat for Christmas. It's still a present for me. <gasps> and then the other things that my mom gave me are this pair of earrings, which are very pretty in real life. I don't know how much that's gonna come through in the camera, but they're very pretty and shiny in real life. And then she bought me this shirt to go with it. And I guess it's because, um, she was wearing a shirt this color and wearing earrings like this one time and I told her that, oh, I really like that combination. That's something that I would totally wear. So she bought it for me, thank you. And then I also got a very pretty uh, lemon scented candle. It's orange and lemongrass. I like lemons, it's a thing. My sister Sarah got me this plant and it is now the first plant that I've ever owned except for a cactus I had in high school. Me and my sisters, we're all in our 30s now, but we're all very close in age. I'm actually only 11 months older than my sister Sarah, and then she's a year older than our youngest sister, Amy. Um, and so we were all in high school at the same time. Um, and after my dad died when I was 14, we all lived in this townhouse with my mom. And this is, I guess, clippings of the plants she had at our townhouse at that time um, because uh, I guess my sister took it from her when she lost the house in the recession. So this it's neat. It's like an heirloom plant. Like this plant was alive when I was a kid and isn't that just so nice? It's called Devil's Ivy and I guess it is toxic to cats. Um, so I'm keeping it up on a shelf. Binks is not a, a big explorer when it comes to vertical. I guess that what happens is if a cat bites it, it burns their mouth really bad right away. So I think that it would be like a one and done kind of chomp and you have to like flush their mouth out and like you have to take them to the vet. Like it is like you have to go to the vet, but it won't kill them. It's just painful. But like my other sister said they've had these for years. I know we had cats when we were at that townhouse. My other sister says she has it. Her cats are fine and um... I don't know, I'm I'm just, I'm a little paranoid when it comes to poisoning my own cat to death. So I'm keeping this up on a high shelf. Okay, then she, all, this is maybe my favorite gift this year. It's a blanket? Wait, hang on. Okay, it's a, it's a bear blanket, but it's like disco themed. It's a disco bear and you better believe this is going right on the bed. Okay, next, my sister Amy got me a theme gift, and the theme was pickles and butts. She got me some pickle bandages. They're bandages that look like pickles. And then she got me, um, like, these little, like, makeup pouches that are cactus butts. It's butts made of cactus. And here's another cactus butts. Okay. And she, and, okay, so I got a mushroom, mushroom butt sticker and also this calendar. Like I, she knows that I pick out my calendars special. So she's like, I know you already have a calendar, but I thought this was funny. So it's just more butts. Again, this one is probably the best. 
And then I think that the, the final two gifts in this package are probably the funniest. She got me a pickle Christmas ornament that has Nicolas Cage's face on it. It's called Pickleus Cage, which I think that's great. I actually, I went to a Nicolas Cage film festival like all last summer and I love Nicolas Cage. I like, he's one of my favorite actors. So I thought that was really funny. And then she, and then she got me an Olive Garden gift card at the end, which I think is very funny. In my family, we also do a big dice game at Christmas. It, strangely enough, this started because my beloved, sainted, deceased grandparents really loved to gamble. They would go out to the casino all year and like get the little free prizes and stuff they'd be handing out at the doors as like, I don't know, incentives to come to the casino and they would collect them all year and wrap them and then they would make like a mountain of presents in the middle of the room and all of the cousins would do, would, we have like pans and two dice and basically you're trying to roll doubles to get presents, right? And so I want a couple things this year, which I'm real happy about. I got this foot mask, which makes the entire bottom part of your foot peel off. It's like an intensely acidic or whatever foot mask. And my sister was like, oh my God, we should do them together and then put it on YouTube. And I was like, honey, if we do this, we're gonna be putting it on a different website, okay? Because we're not giving out that content for free. But knowing me, I probably will. And then, now, now I changed my mind again. This is the present I'm most excited for this year. I got a portable car vacuum that like plugs into your car, like with the carport. I I have never vacuumed my car. I've had it for like three years and I've never vacuumed it, even at like the car wash and stuff. Um, they have car vacuums at the car wash, but I'm always like too scared to use them because I'm afraid I won't know how to use them or that creepy people will try and talk to me. So now I have my own portable vacuum for the car and I don't even want to know what I'm going to find the first time I vacuum out my car. It's bad. Anyway guys, so this is me uh, editing the video and I'm going to be honest with you, I didn't really record a good ending to this video. I'm saying here like, oh, I have to do all my chores still, and then I made a long ass video of me doing chores, but you know what? I don't want to edit it anymore. It's Christmas, and I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to play my little crossword puzzle, whatever. I'm going to go to bed. Merry Christmas, everybody. I hope that you had a really cool holiday, and that's my rock tumbler. <laughs> And we'll talk about that more later, but yeah, I, I really, really hope you had a good time. And if not, well, New Year's is just around the corner, so I'll see you soon. Bye!